hey guys what's going on welcome back to a new video today is currently saturday and i just figured we could vlog today and do like a little weekend vlog for y'all should have vlogged last night because Aliyah's dexcom expired and i put a new one on i should have done that but i forgot anthony is currently with the twins um at the park here near the house there is um they're having like a back to school bash with like free school supplies and stuff like that so he took them and they're getting some supplies and stuff and then he's also running to the store afterwards because we're gonna make some rice bowls this is what we're doing i am kind of prepping everything i'm getting the rice going right now and then i have some chicken here that i had marinated yesterday and then I'm gonna cut up an onion and then I am still working on my breakfast. So lately my newest craving, like my newest obsession has been acai bowls. And normally I buy them from a place here by the house, but I've been spending a lot of money doing so. So I found these at Walmart and then I just add my Nutella and then I add my banana to it. So voila. Here she is. Hi, Buggy. Hi. So there's Alara. And like I said, I'm just working on some rice currently. So, tell the A-team what we did today. We went and got key shopping for school. We got blue. We got, we got I got pumpkins. She got a rainbow. Yeah. Does you want, want the cupcake or the rainbow? I think the cupcake. For school, Lala? You ready for school? Yeah. I got... rice bowl making bar right here we have some tomato and onions with lime juice we have some guac some cilantro some jalapeno sour cream buffalo sauce some lettuce some fritos we have the chicken over here and some rice and The girls are just having rice and chicken. Bowl, bowl. Hey guys, what's up? So I know I look a bit crazy right now. I actually put a hair mask in and I was not planning on recording at all. We are actually getting ready. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the previous clips. I don't even know what the previous clips are, but hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, I am currently packing right now. We are leaving to Tampa. Um, we are going there. Um, Anthony specifically is going for an event that the farm is that their company is sponsoring but I'm gonna go hang out with my mom um, so I wanted to kind of just show you guys what we pack for the girls like diabetes wise like what we take on a trip this is a short trip it is about four days um, nothing crazy but we still do have to pack for them and we are actually really lucky that we have a lot of supplies down in Tampa. My mom actually has insulin at her house. Um, and we have some pods there as well. The girls are currently just doing injections still. Um, they start school next week. So there is a lot going on. I've been a little bit MIA. Um, just taking time to, you know, focus on us and get everything in order. Because they do start school and it's going to be a big change for us. Um, but yeah, I, wanted, I wasn't planning on doing this. But I figured... Uh, this is a good, a good opportunity to show you guys some stuff and, um, you know, show you what we do when we go on little trips. Um, normally, if it's a bigger trip, we probably just double up on everything. But because it is a short trip and, like I said, we have supplies there, this is a very small um, supply load. But I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I use this bag right here. 
um, from Chili Med. We actually collabed with them a long, long time ago when the girls actually first got diagnosed. And they have some really cool bags and stuff. So I really like to use these for traveling. Okay, I'm just going to go through what's all here. So we are taking two extra um, Dexcoms uh, just in case. We just put fresh Dexcoms on the girls like two days ago. So I doubt we'll be needing them, but just in case, one for each child. And then here I have my uh, traveling free derm adhesive remover. I actually got this on Amazon. Um, we do have a big bottle that we use here at home, but I figured it's more convenient to just have this little one when we go on trips. And then I am taking two pods just in case. Like I said, the girls are doing injections, but just in case, um, you know, um, we run out of needles or something happens. This is just so easy and convenient to just put on them. Um, and like I said, we have insulin at my mom's house, so we can use that for these. But these are just in case. I doubt we're going to use them. Um, here we have the blotter. This actually goes in this bag here. Um, I'm taking this big container of glucose tablets. The girls love these for um, lows. I am taking one whole extra box of needles and we also have plenty here to last us about two, three days. Um, so that's that and then these are just extras. I'm taking one extra test strip uh, bottle. Like I said, we have one here that's also full. I'm taking one extra Baschimi nasal powder glucagon. Um, this is what we use for the girls glucagon. We used to have the giant red kit. Those are very intimidating and our doctor actually prescribed these for the girls now and they're actually like nasal spray for lows um, and then I'm taking one bottle of ketone test strips these are just precaution we very rarely use these but it's always good to have those um, I'm taking some Dexcom overlay patches I honestly don't like these at all they really irritate the girl's skin but sometimes we do have to put them on um, and we've tried so many other brands too and I just ran out of the one that we normally use so I'm taking these um, I have some hand sanitizer of their uh, probiotics that they take every day and then over here this is actually the stuff that's actually staying in my main bag my diaper bag Alara's bag this stuff is actually stuff that is going in the suitcase because it's all extra stuff um, and then when we get there we'll buy some more juice um, these are what we're taking with us in the bag um, we also have this uh, glucose tablet it's just a carry uh, a smaller one so we can carry in our bag with us we always have one of these and then another Baschimi um, glucagon that goes in the bag with us this one stays in the bag I just took it out to show you guys and then we have the girls uh, PDMs we have their uh, we have their insulin pen which is actually almost out so I actually went ahead and put a fresh one in here um, yeah, I just put a fresh one in here. We have their Lantus pen, which I also just put a brand new one in here. Um, and then we also have in here a vial of insulin just in case, um, you know, we need it for, I don't know what, but just in case. And then we have some needles here. I have alcohol wipes here and the girls inhaler in here. Um, prickers, test strips. This also goes in here, and yeah, this is what stays with us literally everywhere we go. This is our little bag that we use. We use the Myabetic um, one. We love Myabetic, and as you guys know, we um, have also collabed with them several times. So I do have a discount code that's in the description if you guys are interested in checking out their stuff. They have the cutest things um, for women and men. And then there is just some juice that we'll be taking with us on the airplane. These are all going on the airplane with us, and then this stuff will be going in the bag. So I'm kind of just going to pack it in here and show you guys how I put everything in here, and yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is OD on needles, but you can never be too, you can never pack too much because you just never know. Our plane could get silly, anything could happen, and we could run out of needles. Um, and yeah, as you guys see, there's still so much space in here. There's literally so many pockets empty. But I'm just going to throw all this stuff together in the bag. And then this stuff all goes in here because this is what stays with us full time. I went to the dollar store and I got a bunch of little goodies um, to keep the girls distracted on the airplane because they do get very annoying. Um, they start to bother and ask a bunch of questions. So um, I actually got in these little masks right here, these little kids disposable masks 
and then I made these little kits which have uh, little flashcards for counting, a little puzzle. Um, I got them some headphones for their phone. I got them this little cutting uh, board thing with little fruits and um, a little pack of stickers so they can put in their coloring books and color. Um, and then I also got them these trace and write activity books because they have been loving uh, to trace things and numbers and letters and stuff like that. So I figured this would be a cool little fun activity for them to try and to do. And then I also got these little Play-Doh kits. And then lastly, I got these little packs and I filled them up with some crayons and some pens for them to do their tracing. And I threw in a little Minnie Mouse because they love Minnie Mouse and like little figures. So yeah, so I'm going to put this all in a backpack and have um, them carry it. So then when we get on the airplane, they can have their own little um, packs of things for them to do. We're pretty much just finishing up packing. Um, our flight is super early tomorrow morning. The girls are already all in bed. So now we are just doing some last finishing touches. I'm getting the house cleaned up, gonna do the dishes, vacuum, and just make sure the house is clean before we leave so that way when we get back, the house is nice and clean because I cannot stand coming home to a dirty house. Um, but yeah, guys, I wanted to share that with y'all because I actually had somebody recently reach out to me and ask me, how do we pack for when we're going on trips? Um, that is what we pack. It is. It seems like it would be a very hard thing to do, which sometimes it can be, don't get me wrong, depending on how long you're going for and where you're going. Um, if you don't have access to these things to be able to get them if you don't have enough. Um, but for the most part, this time it was very simple for us. Um, we're not going for very long. We use very basic things and things that we can find anywhere. And like I said, my mom has insulin. We have pumps there. There's always backup in case of an emergency. So we're not too worried about it, but I thought it would share with you guys and show you how we pack. But like I said, most of that stuff is going in the luggage and then the other half is what, you know, stays on my back all the time. It's always with them. And then obviously their phones too. We also have their phones, which are on the chargers right now. So that is it y'all um i hope that this was helpful i hope y'all enjoyed it i don't know what all was at the beginning of this video um i don't know what the clips were but i hope that you guys enjoyed um thank y'all for watching we'll see you guys in the next video bye